everybody, it's Carrie with Seed to Spoon. I thought today as I finished out transplanting the rest of my tomatoes that I would talk a little bit about companion planting and I would mention our top five favorite companion plants that we use for tomatoes. Companion planting is super important and very beneficial. A lot of the times for the tomatoes, sometimes it's beneficial for other plants, but these certain ones that I'm gonna talk about today are all very helpful for the tomatoes that we're gonna be planting today. There are a lot of different companion plants that you can use, especially for tomatoes. There's a lot of really good ones out there. And if you haven't discovered our app yet, make sure you check it out because if you go in there and you go under tomatoes, either the bush or the vining, it will talk about the different companion plants that are really good, as well as the enemies, the things that you shouldn't want to be planting next to it. So once you go into that section, you'll go up onto the top where it says friends and it'll show you all the friends and enemies enemies of it. Today I'm going to focus in on five of our very favorite companion plants that we use for tomatoes. The very first one that I'm going to talk about today is basil. Tomatoes and basil are something that are commonly paired in the kitchen together, so that gives you an idea that it may be really great to put them together out in the garden. So tomatoes and basil are best of friends. They do fantastic together. The basil helps to not only repel pests, it also helps to improve the flavor of the tomatoes itself. The basil plant has also been known to help to improve the production of the tomatoes. So it will give you some more tomatoes than you're used to also. And it helps to repel different flies and mosquitoes, thrips, and also those nasty tomato hornworms. Those ones are nasty if you get them. They are those huge, huge worm looking things. I'll, I'll pop up a picture in here if I can. And they can decimate a tomato plant in no time at all. So anything you can do to help prevent those is amazing. So the basil plant will definitely help with that too. The next companion plant I want to talk about are marigolds. So not only are these absolutely beautiful, but they will help to improve the production of the tomatoes again and help to discourage a lot of different pest activity. The roots of the marigold plant have actually been known to secrete some sort of substance that helps to get rid of any bad nematodes that are in the soil. So it can really help not only with tomatoes, but other plants as well. And marigolds are also really great at attracting different beneficial critters to your garden. So things like the wasps that are fantastic at helping to keep your caterpillar population down. So that will help again with your tomato hornworm issues if you have any of those. And just bring in a lot of different pollinators too, just to help to encourage the growth of your tomato plant. The next companion plant I wanna talk about today is the nasturtium. This one is also fantastic at keeping away pests from your tomato plant. These nasturtiums typically act as a trap plant. So these help by repelling aphids and beetles away from tomatoes and act as a trap. So that way it can help to prevent those pesky bugs from going onto your tomato plants. Garlic and chives are also other plants that are fantastic companion plants to tomatoes. So not only will they help to improve the flavor of the tomatoes too, and it'll also help to repel pests such as aphids and the Japanese beetles. And last but certainly not least, are carrots. Carrots are a fantastic companion for tomatoes. These are very mutual benefiting. So it, the tomatoes really help the carrots too because they can help to provide some shade for the carrots who like the cool season. So it can be harder to grow carrots in the warmer season. So the tomatoes help to provide it a little bit of shade and extend the growing season of the carrots while the carrots help to aerate the soil a little bit. So that way the tomatoes can help to retain some more of the moisture. So those are our top five favorite different companion plants that we use when we plant tomatoes. And I know, like I said, there are lots and lots of different companion plants that you can use for planting tomatoes. If you guys have any favorite companion plants for tomatoes, I would love to hear about them in the comment section and share with the rest of us. Thank you so much for watching everybody. We'll see y'all next time.